Buenos días, estudiantes, amigos, hermanos en Cristo. Quiero empezar hoy uh, con un versículo. Good morning, guys. I'd like to start today with a verse. I don't know if it's morning for you when you're watching it, but a uh, verse that I've been challenged with, I'm trying to memorize this week, and it's Exodus 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And uh, something that I'm working on, just trusting the Lord in all things. Uh, for you guys, this is different and challenging. For me, this is different and challenging. Learning how to use the technology, preparing everything, answering 150 emails in one day. It's all a new challenge, and I'm trusting the Lord through it. And I hope you're trusting the Lord as you have to sit in your room for five and a half hours working on uh, what you might consider homework. But it's school. If you think about it as, hey, I'm in school for six and a half, seven hours a day. I'm online six and a half, seven hours a day working on Spanish, English, etc. So anyway, I'm in the struggle with you. Today, uh, I want to start off class with a vocab guess game. Of course, I want you reading the list once each day. And today, I want you to pause the video as we go through it and try to guess the word I'm thinking of. Uh, where I'm under, on page uh, 329, la lista de vocabulario, under on the set. And I'm thinking a word on there. You tell me the word I'm thinking of. You don't have to type it down, but just pretend you're in class doing oral points here. The first one is, el micrófono hace... That's correct, sonido. Okay. Um, the next one is, con una cámara de video puedes blank. That's right, filmar. Okay. Um, Usas el software para editar. Correcto. Okay. Um, yo quiero filmar la blank. Escena. Correcto. Bueno. El actor o la actriz hace el... Correct. Papel. Okay. El guionista escribe el guión. Okay, try this one. El guión tiene un buen argumento. Las películas de ciencia ficción tienen muchos efectos especiales. En la película, los actores y actrices ponen mucho maquillaje. En la clase, yo no quiero fracasar. Okay? That's under making movies on the set. The next section, I'm going to have you guess. Once again, I say a hint. You pause the video, look at the list, try to guess which word I'm thinking of. The next one is equipment. That You have a 20% chance of getting it right. Actually, uh, uh, about a third of that is all camera. Okay, uh, first one. El sonido se hace con... Correct. Micrófono. Editas con el... Software. Filmas con... Camera, camera, camera. De cine, de video, digital. Okay, now, the section called people involved with movies. I'm going to say in a, a hint. You tell me who the person is or um, what they are. Okay, the first one. Un hombre que es en una película. Actor. Next one. Muchas personas. La gente. La persona que escribe el guión. Guionista. Una persona bien conocida. Todo el mundo conoce a esta persona. Famoso. O oh, estrella de cine también. Correcto, correcto. La persona que hace la película. El director. La persona que filma la película. Camarógrafo. Una mujer que hace el papel. Actriz. Okay, types of movies. I'll name a movie, you tell me the type. All right, 
first movie I think of is, I don't know, Friday the 13th or It, any Stephen King film? Terror. Okay. Um, Señor de los Anillos, Lord of the Rings. Fantasía. Okay. Try this one. Guerras Estrellas. Star Wars? Ah, sí. Ciencia ficción. Uh, try this one. Um, anything on PBS? Documental. Correcto. Um, maybe Jim Carrey movie? Uh, Elf? Comedia. Um, what was Japanese cartoon? Animes? Animacion. Okay, uh, let's see here. Indiana Jones, Aventura. All right, how do movies affect you? Looking through the list, um, when you watch a movie that is terror, me da miedo, or when you watch a movie that's a comedia, me hace reír. Or, or how does a movie affect you when it is a drama? <laughs> Me hace llorar. All right, that's your vocabulary. Read the list once each day. I'm going to do some kind of evaluation, some kind of test. I'm trying to figure that out still. Um, the next thing I want to work on is uh, reviewing the negative two command. Oh, I forgot to do the verb of the day. Tener éxito. Uh, tener éxito is to be successful, or literally to have success. Now, you know three tenses. The first tense is the preterite. Preterite is the complete action. So, I had success is tuve éxito. You had, tuviste, tuvo, tuvimos, tuvieron. Then there's the imperfect, the was having. Like, I used to have success with that. Tenía, ias, ia, íamos, ian. Those are both the past tense. The present tense, you better know this from Spanish 1, tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tienen. It is a stem changer. All right, then the positive two command from last chapter, or from, or, sorry, last that we took a quiz on, the positive. Remember, ben di sal has ten éxito. Be successful, ten éxito. Work hard, put your effort in. All right, then the negative two command, Careful. How do you form commands? You go back to the yo, tango, drop the o, tang, and add the opposite ending. So don't be successful. I don't know why I would say that, but es no tengas éxito. So you'll notice this is the first time the two is completely different in the negative versus positive. You're going to have to really think this through. If you only halfway listen, you're not going to get it. you got to pay close attention. All right, so that's our verb of the day. So let's review. All commands, this is what you've got to get. All commands, this is the rule. It goes back to the present tense. Present tense, Spanish one. Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tiene. They go back to the yo. They drop the letter O. Hablo, tengo, pongo, um, escribo, you name it. Drop the letter O and add the opposite ending. Opposite of AR is the letter E. Opposite of ER and IR is the letter A. Important to know. I taught you that three chapters ago. The exception. The exception to the rule is the affirmative two, and we just took a quiz. Affirmative two uh, is the same as the present tense, he and she, except for ben, di, sal, has, ten, ve, ponce. Same as the present tense, he and she. So if I'm going to tell you to listen, that's a positive two command. So I'm going to say, escucha. That breaks the rule. It's the opposite of the rule. But if I say, don't listen, why, that's a negative two. So my question is, what do negative twos do? They follow the rule. What's the rule? Go back to the yo, drop the yo, and add the opposite end. So follow me. Negative two commands. This was yesterday's lesson. I'm going to reteach today. I'll reteach it again on Monday. But pay close attention. Negative two. All right. Filmar. Go to the yo. Filmo. Drop the o. Film. Opposite ending. No filmes. Where'd you get the es? Well, it's an ar verb. The opposite is no filmes. Don't film right now. Or we could do reir, to laugh. One of the vocab words of this chapter, you should learn that one. Laugh. Go back to the yo, rio, drop the o, ri. No rias, don't laugh, it's not funny. No rias. All right, llorar, to cry. Go back to the yo, lloro, drop the o, llor. No llores. Why is it es? Because the original was ar. 
Why is it AS? Because the original was IR, opposite ending. Once again, fracasar, to fail. Fracaso, I fail, drop the O, fracas. Opposite ending, no fracases, don't fail, work hard. Salir, go back to the yo, sal go, drop the O, sal. No salgas. But wait, profe wasn't salir sal? Yes, that's the positive too. All commands go back to the yo, drop the O, and add the opposite ending except the positive two. Is a negative two a positive two? Hmm. No, a negative two is a negative two. It follows the rule. What's the rule? The rule is simple. All commands go back to the present tense, go to the yo form of the verb, drop the yo, and add the opposite ending, except the positive two. All right, you can go to your command sheet. I posted it online. If you don't have your commands Bible, it's posted on there. All right, antenair, tango, go back to the yo. Tang, opposite ending, no tengas temor. Do not have fear. No tengas. Right? So that's how we do the negative two commands. Now, there are five where you go back to the yo and they don't end in O. You can also find this on your command sheet, but you will notice, saber, go back to the yo, it's yo say. How do I drop the yo? You don't. You have to memorize these five. You've got to memorize them. Don't be. No seas tonto. Don't be foolish. Next one. Estar. Estoy. Can't drop the yo. No estés. Tarde. Don't be late. Ser, go back to the yo. Soy, no seas. Don't be sad. No seas triste. Uh, go, ir, voy. No fallas. Don't go there. But the positive is different. It's no, uh, the positive is ve, negative is no vayas. Or dar, go back to the yo. Doy, can't drop the yo. So you just have to memorize no this. These are on the bottom of your command sheet. They're also taught in your text on the page we were on yesterday, which I forget the number, it's 320, you can refer there. Um, but all of these resources you have, I'm gonna also uh, uh, upload a, a Senor Jordan video, he's gonna explain it really well as well. Okay, so those are the negative two commands, how you do them. Now we're going to watch the video. You can, uh, uh, you can access this online as well on Class Zone. I'm gonna try this format, not sure how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I'm going to pause the video when um, when they use the two commands. <laughs> our first one. What's he commanding her? Don't be nervous. Go back to the yo estoy. Oh, it must be one of the five irregulars. Indeed it is. Ella es la prima de Héctor. Las personas famosas también pueden ser simpáticas. Aquí está tu guillón, Gilberto. Me gusta el argumento. Pues, gracias. Bueno, vamos a empezar. No empiecen antes de... Now we have a negative ustedes command here. No empiecen. Hey guys, don't begin. They went back to the yo, drop the yo at the opposite ending. E N it's an AR verb. Antes de escuchar acción. Don't start until you hear action. Duh. Escuchar acción. Bueno, tú sabes eso, ¿no? Acción. Espera, no salgas. All right. We have a negative two command. No salgas. Don't leave. Es peligroso. Tamara, esto no es una comedia. Lo siento. Me hizo reír. Pues, no me vi. So she said, it made me, it made me, she made me laugh. And she said, no la mires. Don't look at her. Mirar, opposite ending. No la mires. Don't look at her. With a negative two command, the la comes first. Yes. Está bien. Y no respondas rápidamente. Don't respond. The original verb, responder, opposite ending. All commands are opposite ending. Have I mentioned that? Except the positive two. No respondas rápidamente. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Amazing acting job. Action. Espera. No sabes. Es peligroso. Regreso en 10 minutos. Tengo miedo. We have a positive two commands. Tammy, Tammy, say, say, I've got to go. D, from the, the positive two, decir, then, D, sal, D, tengo que salir. Es salir. Perdón, me hizo llorar. Pues, ahora sabemos por qué Antonia es una estrella de cine. Alright, so now we know that Antonia is a cinema star. Um, Got to turn the light on here and we'll go on. The next thing I wanted to do is have you get out your workbook and we will grade. Uh, now, if you haven't done workbook pages 252 to 253, you need to do those right now. And I'm going to uh, have you pause the video and turn it up, turn it on. But I want you to check your answers along with me. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and go back. All right. So the first section, first section, no les des. The answer is la cámara a Juan. Letter A. Number two, no maquilles mucho a los actores. Number three, no apagues el micrófono. Number four, no estés tan nervioso. Number five, or letter E, no vayas lejos. Don't go far away. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me an email like, what, what, wait, why was I right? Why was I wrong? All right, activity two, course. Once again, you've already done these, now you're correcting them. All right, so you're gonna say, Sofia, don't eat lunch now. No almuerces, A-L-M-U-E-R-C-E-S. No almuerces ahora. Number two, don't be Funny, no seas, S-E-A-S, -E más cómica. Number three, Lucas, no juegues, J-U-E-G-U-E-S. Yeah, it's a stem changer. No juegues, E-S. No juegues con los micrófonos. And Manuel, no traigas la cámara. That's T-R-A-I. Why? Because you went back to the yo, try go, opposite of ER, no traigas. Um, activity three, don't film, no filmes, or if it has las, no las filmes, F-I-L-M-E-S. Number two, uh, no la traigas. Once again, traigas, you're going to say no Gotta put the no in there, no la traigas. Why does, it come, why does the la come before? Ah, it's a negative command. You taught us that two chapters ago. That's correct. Um, the actress doesn't want any more makeup. Don't give her it. So it's no se lo. The opposite of dar, des. No se lo des, okay? Next activity, never arrive late. Nunca llegues, and you have to make that Oh my, how about if I spell it right? L-L-E-G, you have to add this. You have to make that gay sound, yay gays. Hard, the hard G, you have to add the E. No yay gays. Um, number two, don't give problems, it's des. Number three, don't talk all the time about yourself, it's hables. Opposite ending, don't go. Uh oh, one of the irregulars, did you get it? Did you get it? Uh, maybe you did. No vayas. Go back to the O, it's boy. You have to go look at the bottom of your sheet. Check that. Tampoco, never play. Once again, it is, I'll put it down here J U E G U E S. Why? It's a stem changer, so it's juego, and then you have to make that gay sound. No juegues. Have a g sound, you have to add U-E. Number activity two, if you want to say don't touch the camera, it's no toques, T-O-Q-U-E-S. Do you remember a few chapters ago when we learned tocar, toque? Make the K sound, you add Q. All right, um, don't eat lunch. No, I'll, 
It's a stem changer and it's not ZE. What happens when a Z comes before an E? No almuerces. Uh, estar, this one's irregular. No estés. And don't play. No juegues. It's the same. These all have no before them to make it negative command. All right, and then uh, the last section, uh, did you use opposite ending? Did you use an S? That if you did all five of the sections, indicate that in an email to me. Here's what I want you to do. You've corrected it. You do not need to take a picture of it. We need to be on an honor system here. If you did the homework before I gave you the answers, I need to know that. You tell me in your email, yes, I did five out of six. I also wanna know how many you had to correct and maybe like what kinds of errors you made. I don't need to know all of them, but say, oh yes, uh, some of the K, gay, and say spellings, or I wasn't stem changing. So I know that you can confess like, this is something I'm trying to work on and I'm learning it. Because I think just writing down what your errors were will help you remember like not to make that same mistake again, particularly when I give you a test on this. I'm working on that for next week to test you over this chapter, trying to figure out a best way to do that. Um, so. Uh, let's see here, did I want to do anything else? Send email stating how many activities you accomplished and how many you had to correct and what kind of corrections you had. I'm gonna do correct homework like normal, but as in uh, try, try and trust you. Now, the majority of you, when I give corrections, correct them. This is it, the, some, of, some of the students who, when I give the answers, still don't correct them. I'm a little concerned about you guys, and I might have to uh, send you a specific email saying, actually, let me see yours. But the vast majority of you, don't send me your, the pictures of it because I'm not gonna be able to grade it like that. It's very difficult to take, I don't know, 110 pictures and grade over them. So we're gonna have to work on the honor system here. It's you, me, and God, and we have to be honest. You have to take responsibility for your own education. So thanks for listening. Um, I'm gonna go for now.